All right, take two. Let's see if that's better. <laughs> Having a little bit of technical difficulties here. We are just going to be looking here briefly. All right, so anyways, it looks like we're okay. Like I was saying, tonight we are doing um, another Pleb of Painting episode two, but we're doing a very special episode tonight. It is going to be on Dark Mode Gaming TV. So. I don't know if you've ever heard of Dark Mode Gaming TV, but it is a collaboration of many different streamers, and you can be a part of it. <laughs> All right, so basically tonight, uh, what we're going to be looking at doing is some more painting. Um, so I'm not too sure what we're going to be painting tonight yet but we will be painting something so it'll be special <laughs> it'll uh, undoubtedly be another uh, landscape not sure what the landscape's gonna be yet or where it may bring us but that's kind of the joy of painting is that you never know where the paint and the canvas may take you on your journey but it's not always about what the destination is so much as it is how you get there and I'm just opening up some paint here so we can get started. Hope everyone had a uh, pleasant day today. Having a pleasant week so far. Hey, rating with a party of four. Do, so just going to have to r have regular alerts through Twitch. <laughs> I see you there, Carnage just getting things set up here let me know if um, there's any kind of drop uh, in the stream my internet was a little iffy at first um, so I shut it down and restarted you're probably gonna have to uh, delete the uh, little 30 second clip there from when I started and then notice that the internet was foobar <laughs> so <clears throat> but we are still gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> uh, well, while you set up, I'm going to as well with snacks. All right, all right, Carnage. We will welcome you back with your snacks, good sir. <laughs> Just getting some paint mixed up here, having some fun shaking the paint. Eventually I'll step my game up to uh, some uh, oil-based paints. Getting some holly branch green set up there and some two blue. It's not just blue, it is two blue. Seems to be a nice happy little blue color there. And let's go ahead and we always know we need some black to shade in and to make some blending and things in there darken some colors up give everything a nice little modification so there's some black then we have another favorite color to use old titanium white This titanium white is quite a thick paint. Um, it is an acrylic paint, but it is much, much thicker than normal acrylics. So, it should be kind of nice for uh, blending in different things. It's a heavy bodied acrylic. 
and like I said of course some point soon I will be uh, upgrading to some oil based paints have a little nicer <coughs> appeal a little bit easier to work with and who we've got here Texas Lane Change Mr. Aloros thank you sir welcome and I'm complete tonight with my Lion King mug you can check that out there full of coffee because I need it <laughs> been a very long day but you know there's nothing better to do to end a long day than to spend it with friends messing around with some paint trying to make something happen right, let's throw some yellow up here and we're gonna need probably another palette too this one's getting pretty full up here already some brown and I definitely need some red and some orange so let's see here let's see what we can do move that there get some orange action how's everybody's day been today so far hope it's been well on this nice Tuesday the last day of July I know it's been pretty uh, rainy here as of late I don't know about for anybody else but it's been really really rainy here so everything is quite saturated it was raining again today <laughs> yes yes it's it's still been hot I will say uh, it has not been quite Texas hot but uh, it has been very warm um, and with all the moisture of course moisture and heat it's just making the humidity just uh, totally unbearable 100% unbearable all right so we've got a blank white canvas here guys uh, we've got some paint in the palette now we're gonna make something happen here humidity is bad yes Texas I would agree with you there um, I actually was born in Texas but I have not been there for over 20 years <laughs> but yes I was born in Texas <clears throat> and I do remember it's quite hot all right so basically we're just gonna get a good amount of paint on our brush here and you want to start you want to start at the top uh, need to move to Alaska freeze <laughs> yes I've actually um, I've actually always wanted to uh, take a trip to Alaska it's kind of one of my um, I kind of just made a pleb mistake there and accidentally touched my brush into two different colors on accident when I didn't want to it's what happens when you read chat sometimes you make little errors there but it's just a happy little accident we can recover from it nothing ventured nothing gained um, see what we can clean off there all right that looks pretty good all right so what was I saying oh Alaska yes I've always wanted to take a trip to Alaska because I've heard how nice it is It's kind of a smaller brush than I would like to be using right now for this but yeah I've always heard that Alaska depends on um, kind of depends on what time of season you go I know this time of year it um, never really gets fully dark um, it kind of stays twilight all through the night uh, 
you know you could go outside three o'clock in the morning and still look bright outside you don't have to be too gentle with canvas here it's not gonna bite <laughs> if it does you got bigger problems than that And try to make it a little darker up here. Add some more paint. I do like this uh, shade of blue here. It's called Two Blue, but it's a nice, nice, vibrant color. I do like it. All right, and then let's take a clean brush here and just kind of pull some of this blue down. See if we can ruffle this brush up. I need a need to get a little bit wider brush. Uh, gonna start restream, but I'll be lurking. All right, Texas. Thank you so much, man, for stopping by. Always a pleasure. Enjoy it. All right, let's just pull some of this down. Now we have kind of a, a dark line here, though. So we're just going to keep working that down. And like I said, we don't have... I don't have any idea where this is going to take us. I have no goals in mind, nothing set. So we're just going to see what the paint does for us and see where it takes us. You know, it's kind of the joy of being able to do your own painting is just doing whatever you want with it you know there's no set limitation boundary or rules to what your painting has to be or what your you know you can limit it not only to don't limit it just to painting but any art form it's all about what you do um, whether it be painting graphic design sketching uh, even streaming and creating content you know it's no set rule of how to do it no set rule how you have to do it um, it's you know it's totally up to you it is your creation make it what you want have it your way you know whatever you deem necessary deem fit let that be it you know now of course we'll say say no limitations but everything does have to an extent um, you know, talk about streaming, streaming as an art form. Uh, you can't just do anything. You know, you do have to follow community guidelines and things. But other than that, um, you can pretty much make it your baby. Do what you want with it. All right, then let's do some... Let me save this br brush here. Let's see actually gonna switch up here save that one all right let's see let's throw in some yellow actually throw in some yellow here gets quickly that blue pops through there it's okay that is okay we can work with it you know we're just travelers going down this road of this painting here you know we're we're just following what the paint tells us to do. 
what it says it can do. Making some little X's here. Get a little bit different here, and I'm actually gonna take up some of this yellow. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to try and make something here. I'm kind of running out of space. <laughs> kind of running out of space here. Clean that off. And then let's take some red. Pub of painting hype. Yes, sir. We are, uh, going on our way here just mixing up a little bit of paint here to try and blend some of this color here together I guess it's important to note for those of you watching that right now at this current time you probably can't really see a whole lot um, as far as the painting goes through here with the uh, the green screen filter on might be a little difficult but it is okay. All right, let's see if we can get <clears throat> a little bit more yellow in that color there. Okay, getting a little bit more what we kind of looking for here. Now hopefully I can figure out how to ship things properly. <laughs> it would be uh, quite helpful. It's kind of a fun fact I had never shipped a package before. So last week was my first experience with shipping. I see a blue sky. Blue sky is about, about what we got so far. Um, but we're about to liven it up a little bit, you know, who knows? Who knows where this painting is going to take us? It's taken us on its a nice little journey here through its life. All right, and let's uh, actually what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna make some make a cloud right here. We're gonna make a big old cloud right here. Maybe there's a cloud brewing right here. Hold this for a little bit of support. Big storm cloud here. And maybe he has, you know, let's get a little bit more. See it. <laughs> I appreciate the compliments. <laughs> the uh, the shirt is quite amazing. I still haven't quite mastered the uh, cloud technique yet, 
but uh, we're gonna see what we can do with it just you know nothing too fancy here we're just trying to see what we can make happen all right and then maybe like a little one here that is the beauty of art like I was saying is doesn't matter what you do it is yours <laughs> so do what you see fit with it there's no right or wrongs in your own design you just kinda venture out see where it takes you see where you take it it's a give and take all right now let's let's see here can take another brush and let's just add a little bit of red to this might be a little too much on the brush just just want it just enough to get some texture there add a little depth to it hope you found a uh, worthy snack there my friend we're just gonna build up on these clouds I am quite a fan of snacks myself as is any proper person I believe all right so now we've got now we've got a little bit of depth a little bit of texture here to the clouds all right a little bit of varied color to it it's way more than just a snack is it now what are we working with here it's kielbasa with pickles and mustard. <laughs> I hear that. I hear ya. Kielbasa. I'm I'm a hundred percent with you on there. I have no clue if that's the correct spelling, but I'm good with it. All right, now let's just kind of take a brush and just now that we got our texture, we're gonna smooth this out. We got our blend of colors and everything we're just gonna kinda liven her up there alright got a nice little blend of colors there for that there we go I was here earlier and the stream ended <laughs> yeah juggler we had a uh, had a little bit of issues hopefully um, you guys take care of that and uh, I apologize for the inconvenience of the 30 second stream there with uh, lagged internet so I'm sure you guys will do your uh, part in removing that video all right now now we're gonna take uh, let's see a little fan brush here <laughs> and we're just gonna add some little we're just gonna add some little highlights in here 
uh, his interwebs was off to a rough start. Been fine since. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. All right. Now we're just really going to touch this in here and just add some little orange highlights to the clouds. Add just a little bit of depth. And I still haven't quite mastered, well, mastered any of it, but still struggle with my clouds um, for whatever reason. So, don't want it totally random, but we want it some highlights. Ours is still up from two weeks ago. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kind of enjoying this for the time being, and hopefully soon. We will get some uh, some income to fund some better supplies. I'm gonna upgrade to some oil paint, which is what you should be using for this. Just makes it a little easier to work with, a little easier to blend. All right, so there's some orange highlights. You know, clean that off. You're going to clean that off. And then I'm going to add in some yellow here. And it's Orange paint's still a little wet, so we're getting a little bit of a brown to it. It's kind of nice, actually. A little bit of a brown to it. We're just touching up some of these highlights here. Alaros, I am wanting your opinion on something. Do you mind? What is that, my good sir? You can have my opinion. Comes at no charge. <laughs> Just continue it and to touch up, add some little, add some depth, add some highlight. See what we got. Well, how do you feel about the difference between a job you enjoy that doesn't pay enough and a job you don't like? That pays handsomely. Asking for a friend. <laughs> hey, Runa, welcome. I appreciate the lurk. All right. Um, which is the worst sub of all time, Wawa or places that taste like Wawa? <laughs> all right. Well, I can answer that one first. Um, Wawa. Um, I enjoy their turkey bowl and their turkey wrap that they have around Thanksgiving time. I think that's the best thing you can get, just about the best thing you can get from a gas station, um, which Wawa is a gas station. Hate to burst the bubble. I know some people think it's more than that, but Wawa is a gas station, so that's that. Um, now, as far as um, a job you love that doesn't pay enough, in a job you don't like that pays handsomely, honestly. Um, that is kind of the age old catch 22. Never heard of a Wawa. Well, you must not live in the area that uh, 
serves that. Um, another close tries to be similar is like uh, Sheets. If you have a Sheets gas station. Um, but yeah, so as far as a job that you love that doesn't pay enough, um, you kind of have to take the give and the take with it. Um, for me, I have kids. I have wife that I support, provide for. So for me, I kind of suck it up a little bit, which it's not really sucking it up because I do love what I do day to day. I do enjoy my full-time job um, but as far as doing something <laughs> thank you Chugs but as far as doing something that you absolutely love that doesn't pay enough um, I don't know I kind of view my regular day-to-day -day job to support me doing the things that I love after hours um, such as this um, such as uh, the Alaric 187 streams um, I don't let's see I don't view it as a necessity to make money doing my different various hobbies the main reason is is because I have so many different hobbies um, <laughs> that coffee mug <laughs> yes um, and being that I have so many different hobbies, it would be really hard for me to be like good enough to make money at any one of them, if that makes sense. If you guys can kind of wrap your head around that. Um, you know, my hobbies are kind of like my gaming history, um, which you guys know a little bit about and you guys have seen in my streams that I am much very much so a variety streamer um, any given day you have no clue who, what I may be streaming or playing that day um, it could be anything from back to Atari all the way up to PS4 I mean it, it's just you just never know so I hope that answers your question that you know it'd be hard for me because I just a hey, DMG Blaze. I don't know who this guy is. DMG Blaze. A little bit of a name sounds familiar. Afterwards, Alec, we get to hear about his bondage career. <laughs> he brought his Streamlabs bot. Oh, <laughs> that's his Streamlabs bot. That's funny. Rip. <laughs> All right. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting ready to. Uh, mix up a little bit of green here we're gonna um, start blending in kind of glad to see that blaze is here though some information that he is not aware of as of yet All right, let's see. Kinda. <laughs> you know, Eric, you can be as filthy as you want on this channel. I mean, it's not really similar to Bob Ross, but it's not your channel, so you can go nuts. Nuts! <laughs> uh, where are the panels? Great question, you're a shark. Info, you quit your real job and you're now full-time DMG member? <laughs> I am a full-time DMG. DMG member as I can be <laughs> but uh no <laughs> but no blaze the uh, information that I have for the real blaze is that so far this I don't have much on this painting yet but we'll get there we're gonna get it um, but yeah blaze this painting is actually being dedicated to a very very special streamer uh, somebody that is near and dear to my heart somebody that is super supportive has always been there pretty much from the beginning and can share in the fact that this 
could be considered art even though they have much very much higher quality of art if you really want to see quality art look at that backdrop that is quality art but yes this painting if he should choose to accept it is being given and sent to DMG Blaze he said nuts yes I did <laughs> we got a kick dart out of DMG no panels Runa swear for us shoot is that a swear a shoot a swear crap when I was a kid crap was a swear and freaking my parents used to hate when I said freaking or crap what yes blaze if you should choose to accept it this painting is being sent to you so we will be in contact <laughs> that is legit well we will see how legit it is <laughs> I kind of need to um, figure out something for this easel too because it's really hard to get the bottom because this little tray here um, it's like really hard to blend in the bottom so I'm just gonna do that off screen <laughs> somehow I apologize you can't see exactly what I'm doing now it might uh, you know you might be able to use your imagination there a little bit as this is off screen I do like this color green though of course I probably should have started with a little darker color but it's all right we will work with it all right some green for you guys there and I apologize it's kind of hard for me to keep track of this chat as it's not on my normal chat bot because this isn't my normal stream so I have to kind of do other methods I accept yes <laughs> hold the anthrax though it's only a little bit of anthrax I wonder if he's going to get a Xerox as well <laughs> it's dope but the transparent part is a bit of a letdown on the delivery finally got your bird I know look full disclosure I have never sent a package before in my life not even a letter that's the first time I've ever gone to the post office and done anything the very first time I've never gone to the post office and ordered postage before um, so please carnage if you would figure out what the issue is so that next time we don't have any of these issues like that I don't know what I did um, the people at the post office were no help um, they pretty much said oh you just use that machine over there and that's all you got to do well I had no idea how to use that machine so all right so we're just gonna stretch this up okay and now for my next trick <laughs> not even a, no not even a letter man I will ask them awesome did you pay for the painting I mean I, I, I paid whatever it charged me for um, the actual like little sticker thing on it I don't know what you call it the shipping label I paid for it to spit that out then I slapped it on the little envelope and threw it in the box so if that's not all of what you're supposed to do then that's beyond me I have no idea <laughs> did you pay for it he wouldn't let me no nah, it really um the shipping was really cheap I will say that but apparently that's why it was so cheap because I didn't pay for all of it which doesn't make sense to me I don't know I don't understand how shipping works I guess 
apparently I'm the uh, I'm the pleb of shipping as well. <laughs> Well, yeah, he paid for the item you're responsible for shipping and handling. <laughs> hey, happy birthday. Oh, nice. <laughs> Interesting. You were like a dollar short. No worries, dude. Yeah, I know. And it wasn't much more than that, to be honest. Pleb of Parcels has a better sound. And, uh... Also, Jugs and Carnage, being that this is not uh, my channel, I cannot add any of you as moderators. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. <laughs> supposed to be chef mods in this chat. <laughs> yeah, this is not my chat. Kind of an interesting situation there. All right, we're just gonna add this base layer. It's actually not as dark as I want it to be either, but we'll get it there. There we go. Bam, now that's dark. That's a lot of paint on the brush too. I ain't lying. All right, so we have a nice little flag here as all these bands of color. All right. Like I said, I have no idea where this is going, where this is gonna take us. Or you could just sum it up, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, and we're gonna just kind of smooth this that way. Try to separate all this. Okay, we have mods. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mod me first. Hey, mod yet? <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. We have mods. I noticed, uh, maybe you guys can enlighten me on some of the updates. I noticed that a lot of the chats that I went to today had, um, and chats that I've been a part of many, many times before, had like new rules on them like when you first go to chat in them said that they had you know it popped their rules back up and they had new rules written in there so is that some sort of update that they did uh forgive me this isn't something we had to worry about before <laughs> yeah i know wanted to have mod first so i could ban carnage raises specifically modded myself first <laughs> that's 100 percent true you got to be careful on who you give the power to and in what order you give them the power. Hey, Runa, is she back? Is she back? Welcome, Runa. Okay, back for a minute. Hey, a minute is still worth it still much appreciated i appreciate every minute that we get a viewer on my stream or dmg tv what a shiny sword use the sword may the sword be with you all right um all right guys i'm kind of lost now what to do <laughs> no i'm just kidding not really though all right so that's going to turn into black. Um, let's see. I want to do the background first. Then make everything from there. Trees. Everybody says trees. Alaric in 180p. Am I in 180p? Is it bad? Oh no. <laughs> 180. 
Happy little trees. All right, so the chat wants trees. So we will give them what they want. I am a man of the people. People have spoken. They want some trees, huh? They want some trees here. All right, let's see here. Uh, huh. let's see if we can. Let's see if we can cook us something up. I want a brown, but I want it to be a little darker than that. So we're gonna make up, mix up some of our, some black and with some brown to give it a little darker shade of brown. I think that's gonna make a nice little shade for some tree bark. Uh. I have to play you in 180p. This dude legit nails trees. Ha! <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> what is that? Um, uh, gosh, what is that? I can't remember what that's called, but yeah, we, uh, all right, so let's start. This is where we have to make big decisions, where you have to make some big decisions in your painting. Um, where to put everything. <laughs> All right, so, uh, huh. We're gonna make this, we're gonna start with a nice big tree. All right, let's start with one there. Maybe he has, maybe he has a little friend kind of sideways over here. Maybe this friend's a little, a little tipsy. This tree had a little bit too much photosynthesis. Chlorophyll got a little too strong for this one. Big decisions in small streams. <laughs> yes. All right, maybe we have another little one right here. All right, that's nice. All right, I kind of like where that's going. All right, and then here we have another little tree over here and trees don't grow straight I don't know if you guys know that or not but not all trees grow straight and maybe, maybe there's one up here maybe a big tree there's a nice big tree right there it's gonna be a little evergreen forest here guys It's a nice color brown, and I assure you it is not chocolate. Yo. We know, I mean, we all know Jugs didn't, didn't need to do all carnages. <laughs> Been here the whole time, but was on the phone with my mom, so I couldn't chat. That is all right, Mr. JP. We are just giving what the, the chat what they want right now, which is some trees. They like trees for some reason. DMG just make jokes about each other? Oh, we sure did. Well, you know, that's kind of part of it, you know, is being comfortable with who you are. I've always learned in life whether what you feel about yourself, just be who you are and love yourself most important before you truthfully can love anybody else you have to love yourself if you can't love yourself then what's the point facts <laughs> all right so I have a green here but that greens more of a highlight it's a little too light in color so what I'm going to do is put some green over here we want a nice dark shade of green for the base so what we're gonna do is throw some green whoop there went the red you know sometimes sometimes you lose some uh, paint there luckily there's a cap on it so it didn't spill but 
That is a wounded soldier on the floor. And I do need some more uh, of my Lion King mug coffee. As we get into this. <laughs> and no one can tell me not to. Nothing is coming out of the green container. There was definitely... Most certainly something. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm going to just stop myself before I finish that statement. <laughs> oh my gosh. I get it. I get it. I get it. Why I didn't think about that? Because I've made the same joke. Man, I'm just thinking too hard about these happy little trees we're about to make, guys. Painting does it again. Yes, the Pueblo painting did it again. All right, we've got a nice dark shade of green here. Now you guys is gonna are gonna see some magic here. The uh, painting on these sections is just gonna disappear, and it's gonna turn into high quality art because it's gonna turn into this masterpiece behind me. All right, so let's just start here and okay, we got basic shape. All right, that's what we're going with. All right, a little bit more paint. All right. Don't be afraid about how large you make the tree. There's some large trees in this world. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm quite, quite a uh, nature boy myself I love trees Kappa <laughs> but no I do lo I love nature I love studying nature all things included with it um, need some more paint through here You just kind of want to start with one tree, then jump to the others. Once you got one pretty good and you're comfortable with it, you like it, just kind of leave it at that. Then we'll jump over here, maybe this guy here. Nature boy, woo! <laughs> Actually, Blaze, there's a statue right here. You just can't see it. My camera angle isn't my, uh, let's see. Oh, got a little tree here. My uh, wide angle camera lens is not quite wide enough there, good sir. But it was a nice attempt anyway. All right, we got a few trees there. All right. Get some more paint on the brush here. Lol. It's a green statue. Yes, it is. <laughs> Don't have quite enough paint on there. There we go. Now we're cooking with something. Maybe this tree just has had a little bit harder time than my other ones. Maybe he's just not quite as full, you know. There's no perfect, perfect uniform tree in this world just to burst everyone's bubble. Not all trees look the same. Not all trees grow the same, even within the same species. Okay, let's fill that in a little more. Hope everyone is enjoying their evening, by the way. I know I am. Anytime I get a chance to stream, 
get a chance to hang out with the other DMG members and the DMG founders. It's a good night. For one, because most of the time that means I'm home, which seems to be kind of a rarity as of late. But, you know, we do what we have to. We do what we have to. And I'm interested to see what uh, what kinds of shows and streams some of our other DMG members come up with. Um, I know we have a lot of creative people, a lot of smart people, intelligent in our group, and I'm very excited to see some of the ideas and plans that they have coming up and some of the things that they come up with. I'm very excited. It is a good time to be in DMG right now. And we're just finishing out this guy over here. Okay, so there's a few trees. We wanted to be a little crooked forest here just to see what we could do. <laughs> All right, um, now let's see. That's kind of our background there for these trees there. We're gonna see what else we can make have happen. And to my wife and everything about you. <laughs> Is it a happy crooked forest? Masterpiece already. <laughs> well, thank you. We are getting there. The new Bob Ross. Hey, can we do a cabin? Uh, um, I don't really have a good knife or the proper paint to do a decent cabin. Um, but we definitely need something in like this area and I'm not quite sure where we want to go with this yet. Um, we've got some nice little trees. We've got our base here. Um, I think I am going to darken this up a little bit, that green. I think it's still too light. How about some boulders or a stream? Um, all good ideas. Let's see. Let's just... Maybe we can take a second. Take a second. Clean that off. Get a little sip of coffee. Ponder for a second. <coughs> Shrek's house. <laughs> oh my god. Or a bear. Shrek's house. Some nice firm boulders. DMG mug. Yeah, coffee fixes everything till you choke on it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, except that cough. Animal inhabitants. <laughs> I like the way you think, Aaron's a leaf. <laughs> is that what it is? Aaron's a leaf? Maybe. Um, nice firm boulders. That DMG mug, by the way, that seems like a rather large mug. It is a 20 ounce mug. So I don't know those of you out there that drink coffee but uh, 20 ounces is pretty large. All right, so now let's see what we can do. First step is we're gonna darken up this grass a little bit down here. Yep, Aaron's a leaf. Okay, I got you. I got you, boy. Aaron is a leaf. Hey, you know, like I was just saying earlier, Aaron, if you want to be a leaf, you be a leaf, man. That's what life's all about, just being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable with who you are. 
It's not what other people tell you are or think you should be or, you know, not the things they impose upon you. But, hey, if you want to be a leaf, you go right ahead, man. You be a leaf. And you be the best damn leaf that you can be. Just don't be Ryan Leaf. Please don't be Ryan Leaf. That guy. So much potential. <laughs> Leader of Cola. <laughs> oh my gosh. Such a perfect. Uh, I have a 72. Oh my gosh. And 120. Good night, Texas. 20 ounces is pretty amazing. A liter of cola that I can mug in Texas hurts your kidneys and liver. I only use them for work. Put water in them. In the plant. Yeah, throw a lion, Ryan Leaf in there. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, everybody enjoys a uh, good Ryan Leaf reference from time to time. Well, I feel I feel you there, Texas, but not really. Uh, when I worked in a warehouse, it was a frozen warehouse that was 20 below Fahrenheit. In the freezer, the dock was kept between 35 and 38, and the coolers were kept between 32 and 35. So it was not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Night, Texas. All right. Let's see. Kind of don't know what to do now, guys. <laughs> I have all these bands of just random color and I gotta figure out how to blend them together. Fortunately, he's from my state. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> I, I don't know that he was making a joke, Texas. I'm not quite sure exactly. Get her done. Exactly, man. We just need to do the thing. <laughs> do the thing. All right. I kind of like this brown that, um, that we started with for the trees. Uh, let's see if I can find a decent see if I can find a proper brush and we're gonna just kind of make some little outcrop here maybe there's little outcrop here some different textures no mistakes here. Yep. Yep. No mistakes. I think we're going to have another one come maybe right in here. Okay. Maybe right in here. All right. Not going to worry too much about getting right into them trees because we got a trick for it. We're gonna, we got a trick for that. Show you here in a second what we're gonna do there. Trail in the forest would be chilling. You know, it's funny you mention that because little known fact about Mr. Alaros or Alaric, whichever you wanna call it, is uh, that Alaric has quite the affection and affinity for poetry one of his favorite poets being mr robert frost who had many nature themed poems including the road not taken which was about none other than some paths in the woods sort of i mean of course it had a deeper meaning than that but 
at its base, I mean, that's what it was. The Road Not Taken is what the poem was called. For sure. All right, we're going to bring this up here, actually. All right. And you know what? Let's let's get crazy here. Let's get crazy. Let's slap some paint all down here. All down here. And let's slap some paint all down here. That's looking fire, dude. We're going to see what happens with it. All right, now that we have this paint here, let's just kind of blend some lighter brown into this darker brown here. Kind of like the trail idea. We're getting crazy here, boy. <laughs> We are getting crazy here. All right, and that. And it just kind of trails off into Never Never Land. We're off to Never Never Land. Not the amusement park, though. Not the amusement park, all right? So we just want to dip our brush, get off the excess, and then. You just gotta beat the devil out of it. Sometimes you gotta beat the devil out of it. I know a lot of people like to beat the devil out of it just to release some frustration. Lily pads, those corn dog looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Why have I never in my life realized that cattails look like corn dogs? <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's a hundred percent accurate. Not only is Aaron a leaf, he's a genius. That's brilliant. That's freaking brilliant. Love it. <laughs> I've never realized that before. All the times that I've spent with them, I've never realized that. All right. Let's see, we are actually going to do a little bit more brown here, kind of, I should have blended this whole thing brown and worried about the green after, but you know, here in the pleb of painting, we're not about being perfect. We're not about doing everything right the first time. We make some little happy accidents every now and then, but Anytime you fail or make a little accident in life, it's not about what the accident is. It's not about uh, what you did to get there. It's about how you recover from it. It's about what you can do to learn from it, prevent it next time. And it's what just kind of taking the cards that you dealt with, honestly. You know, in life, you're not going to be handed a bed of roses every time. You know, you're not going to get everything handed to you right off the first time. Sometimes you got to kind of suffer through the consequences to really find out what you're made of. And that is life. Got a new fresh, nice fresh little batch here mixed up. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. So see, sometimes you may start out with a plan 
actually I didn't start with a plan but you may have something in mind you got to do it and it just doesn't work out the main thing is to not sweat it to not let it get you down to not let it keep you down but to keep on trucking it's like Dory said just keep swimming you know don't let it keep you down and get you down just you know go with it learn from it you know make it right own up to it and learn from it and you will get it next time my friends all right so now we're back dark again <laughs> a man of many words and manly hands <laughs> he quit and in situation when not involved common sense get her done <laughs> exactly most things can be solved just by getting it done <laughs> instead of sitting thinking about it just go after it all right now let's see if we can get some light brown we're actually going to do kind of a two-parter here we're going to go brown brown all right however in one of the browns we're going to add just a splash of white to lighten it up even more makes it a nice highlight color so And we went a little darker down here because the closer things are, you want them darker and it adds that depth, the illusion of depth actually. All right, so now we have two nice little shades of brown there. So this is something we can look forward to every week. Um, possibly. Um, I would like to do at least something along the lines every week. Um, it may not be exactly this, uh, but it should be similar to this. All right, where is our other brush? Here we go. All right. Now we're really going to lighten it up. Brush is acting a little funky on me here. That's okay. We'll roll with it. My grandma wrote the song Work by Rihanna. Really? <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Not much of a uh, Rihanna fan myself, but not to say I don't realize the popularity there just not much of a pop music fan in general I kind of lend more to people that actually write the music um, true performers 
kind of like your grandma there more I think it's more artistic to write the song than it is to perform the song I think it takes you know not to say that people don't have talent that sing you know they do have a talent and are blessed with what they have the gifts they're given but I do think it does take a different skill to be able to um, convert that into actual music <laughs> I would drink that one's bath with her. The whole thing. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think I'd drink anybody's bath water, man. I don't know about that, bruh. It's maybe a little too much. Okay. Let's see where we're at here. We're going to take handy dandy brush here again. Such so as people who want to write and not be popular. Yeah, true. Depends. That was actually um, a little known fact about me. That was one thing that I wanted to do when I was a teenager. That was a dream of mine was to be a, a lyricist for different bands because I couldn't really sing. So that was kind of out of the question. Yo, Bearded Tater, what is up, my friend? Welcome. All right, so let's see. I have an idea of what we're going to do here. This might be a little crazy, but I think it could work. Showcasing you to millions of people people right now don't mess up I am trying not to we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get it a little crazy here people <laughs> since I don't know exactly what to do right now let's see some green and the beauty is with this tater that if I use green and mess it up you guys will never know because you'll never see it. It'll just disappear. <laughs> It'll be lost and gone forever. <laughs> Hundreds of millions. Time to get crazy. Who are some people you look up to as wise man has said? Uh, people I look up to? Um... Well, there's this one guy that I aspire to be someday. I don't know if you have ever heard of him, but he's pretty big time. And his name is Novak. That's N-O-V-A-C 404. Um, he is on Twitch, and uh, he's somebody I definitely look up to. Uh, Mr. Carnage Razor there, too, is another one definitely good people yes invisible ink <laughs> on that invisible ink hype it 
Is it only because you're short? Who's short? All right, guys, you ready to get crazy? Let's get crazy here. Big decision time. Big decision time. Get some paint and just go nuts. Big decision time, guys. We're making big ripples here, not little waves. Or I guess we're making big waves, not little ripples. Is that, would that be the proper analogy? Who knows? I don't know. So what we're doing here is we're just, maybe there's some hedges right here, you know, some bushes right there. There's some big bushes right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> and maybe we're coming ASMR. Oh, you like the, uh, the tapping? You like the tapping of the paintbrush on there? So what we're doing is we're coming out. Maybe we're just coming out between these hedges right here. You hear that? Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like that, guys? Do you like the little taps on the brush? <laughs> Audio sensory. Okay. So maybe we're bursting out through some hedges here. What's your Patreon? Snapchat for subs? Tap me, daddy. <laughs> Snapchat for subs. I don't really use Snapchat really a whole lot. To be totally honest with you. Get her done. One, two, three. Banana ran. Is that what that says? Sorry, I'm on my phone. It's kind of small. Banana ran. Yes, sir. We are trying to get her done. All right. Now, now that that's done, temporarily temporarily all right so kind of figured something out for that so now we're going to go back and let's see here see if we can find nice all right so we're going to go back to our light brown here and we're just going to make some little depth here to some different spots. It's kind of hard going to that side when I'm right handed. And actually, I'm not going to worry too much right about the trees because we got another plan for that as well. Just some little highlights. Don't worry if they're not perfect, guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be good enough. All right. Now the proper way to do this would be with a knife. 
but I seem to have misplaced mine, unfortunately. So. All right, and we're going to quickly jump over here and just kind of smooth this all out just a smidge. Yep, getting a little bit of green in there. That's all right. That is okay. It's not going to hurt anything. This whole time I have watched, I thought there was a, a take, but it's, hold up. I thought there was a lake, but there's a green screen spot. <laughs> yes, that's why, he, that's why he was joking earlier about the, um, about he couldn't see the green paint coming out, but yeah, there's a green screen. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of the funny part about um, doing these painting streams is that it uh, is definitely it, it looks interesting. That's um, that's why I always post uh, pictures after in Discord, so you can actually see the green and what it lo really looks like. <laughs> that's awesome, though. <laughs> All right, so now. Now we got that. Now we're going to go back to, let's do some more, and eh, not that dark green. We're going to throw some more green in there, funny enough. Going to add some more layering in. And we're going to do some more on this side. All right. There is that. I talked about the corn dogs in all state fair of Texas corn dogs, Fletcher corn dogs. Nah, the pond ones, pond dogs. <laughs> I, you know what? That makes sense now. <laughs> I was wondering. Um, I thought you were saying you wanted like a body of water or something, because you, because uh, you were saying lily pads and corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That is incredible. Love it. <laughs> Love it. All right, so maybe this grass right here has. Let's do some yellow. Maybe it's got some yellow in it take a little bit yeah not quite that brush not that one not that one eh, don't have exactly the brush I'm looking for but we'll get it just maybe a little bit on the tip you just want a little bit of highlights through here This painting here is taking me a little bit longer than I wanted or expected, but it's okay. We'll get it done nonetheless. When you don't have any idea in mind, you know, it's a little harder to stay on a time crunch, so we're not too worried here. 
and then just blend it through. Big bunch there, and then just blend through. All right. Big bunch here, and blend it through. All right. Sure, blend through. Not too bad. And then maybe, let's see if we can find it. Here it is. Maybe there's a shadow. Just a little bit of a shadow under here, under these bushes. Put your mic a centimeter away from your mouth. What do you want, like this close? Like this close. Is that better? <laughs> okay, just some shading under there. Let's see what that does. All right. And this is all just practice, guys. I don't fake to, uh, I don't want to fake and act like I know what I'm doing here. I really don't. Just having some fun tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very nice, quiet stream tonight. Uh huh. Okay, so I know what I need to do now. Let's get our fan brush back out. Let's hit up some of this light green that we made here, and let's just add some little accents to our. You don't want it to be random. Maybe there's some tree branches in here. Just gonna highlight our trees now I do realize apologize guys green screen and all that you cannot see this <laughs> I do realize that and I am sorry A little crop outcrop there of trees. And I do thank everybody in chat for hanging out and watching the pleb of painting. <laughs> as we struggle on this journey together here it's kind of taking it by a little stride at a time kind of the main key here with these trees is you just want to just want to layer it up get the dark base basic shape there and then just touch it up with some highlights 
touch it up with just a few highlights just to really make it stand out really make it pop boom all right Psychopaths, if you are wondering, really? Huh. Psychopaths, that sounds familiar. Psychopaths does sound familiar. I can't remember what that is, though. Good on that. All right, now let's touch up, do some highlight on this here. Um, all right, we got a green base, yeah, there. Let's do some orange. Let's get a little crazy again. Let's get a little crazy again, do some orange. <laughs> All right, now. I'm just gonna layer in some different color here some little orange accents there then we'll go back make some lighter green and really give it some shape really give it some shape gonna make this green even a little bit lighter J not sure who that is banana We're going to mix in some of this green here, try to get a little bit, make it even a little bit lighter. That looks pretty good there. Pretty good. At least good enough. <laughs> there's good and then there's good enough. Now all we're going to do here is take our fan brush again and we're just going to highlight out some shape, some bushes here. So 
So you guys having a good evening so far? Hope everybody's having a nice Tuesday night so far. Enjoying themselves. All right. Now let us, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> I don't know that I really have anyone famous in my family. Come from pretty humble beginnings, humble roots. Nothing really too exciting. Do our little pathway there. Make our little pathway here. We'll say it's a little, maybe some little gravel stuff here. Hey, <laughs> you're part of DMG, that's fame. Well, you know, that is true. We are in DMG TV right now. DMG hype. <laughs> On the hype train, which is where you can uh, find a uh, viewable image of this picture after the show. Because right now it's kind of hard to see for you guys because it's uh, green screened. So the green's getting filtered out, which makes it look pretty strange. <laughs> My mom is Ryan Leaf. <laughs> Here's the Discord link. It's funny. I highly doubt that your mom is really Ryan Leaf. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of adding in some shading for this trail here. It's gonna be a little gravel trail, we'll say. Smooth it out a little bit. All right. Then, let's see. The mangoes. All right, Aaron's a leaf. I will see you. Well, when the fight 
against Logan Paul. Got to head out for the night, dude. Keep on doing what you're doing. Have a good night. All right, Carnage. I know you got to work tomorrow. I'm actually off tomorrow. That's why I'm kind of streaming a little bit later. But all right, man. Thank you so much for the support. Always appreciated, man. Always appreciated. And I will see you later. All right. Now let's take... And kind of the finishing touches here. It's really hard to see, isn't it? We're just going to dab this up. Get her done. I know. Yep. That's the plan. All right, dab that up. Clean that off. Do some straight white. Very fine brush. Just cutting in our trail here. And then we can hop over here, cut in this side. Let's get a little bit crazy here again and finish this up. Knock this out quick like. Take a light brown here. Here's our path.
get a little bit of paint on the brush might help. <laughs> there we go. And we have a little path there. Take some darker brown. Almost there. Flick this out. Like so. And we'll stretch this out. All right. Anyways, kind of like where that's at for the moment. Stream's been a little bit longer than we expected on, but I think we made some good progress. I like what we're going with it. I want to thank everybody for coming out this evening and hanging out. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel. It's a newer channel that we got going on, uh, Dark Mode Gaming TV. You can find a lot of good quality people there, a lot of good quality streamers. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and until next time, guys, just I hope you enjoy painting. Uh, try it. Practice it and see what you can come up with guys uh, there's no book on how to do it just use the paint and the canvas and just see where it takes you um, but yeah until next time guys uh, you all have a good evening and a good night and I will see you later <laughs>